All right, things are about to get real here. I'm gonna take some of these tools here. We gotta cut this ceiling piece out because it hangs down here. And there's no way I can get it pushed back up in there. So we're just gonna cut this thing out uh, to this line here along the front to the back. And then re-insulate it with Roxel and put some cedar uh, tongue and groove up there. So hopefully this works out and I don't F it up. All right. All right, today, tonight was a dirty job. And I cut out the ceiling, it was delaminating. Got fiberglass reservoir, that was no fun. But we got her down. to cut a hole in the ceiling there for the wood stove but looks like luckily when I was cutting with the jigsaw I don't think I punctured the outer roof it got pretty skinny down here I think I was hitting it but I don't think it broke through which is good really good there is a lot of water condensation on the top here hopefully it is just condensation it doesn't look like it's leaking from there so yeah let's see how i can deal with that not building up in the future because i don't want to use spray foam it's really wet here so i don't know i'll have to check out what's going on here see if there's a seam on top that uh, is leaking up there which might be the case because uh, it is pretty wet there which would also explain <clears throat> why I got wet down there so anyway clean up as best I could got most of the fiberglass uh, debris flakes that were settling out of here I need to wash all my clothes and take a shower to get it out of my hair and keep it out of my lungs spent too many years building snowboards getting fiberglass coated inside me don't want any more of that. So, anyway, I don't think this will fit outside the door, so I'll have to take it apart to get it out of here. But most everything in the cabin here has been taken out. Woohoo! All right, trying to replace the ribs in the wall here so I can put up siding. And decided to take this out to get all of the old paneling out. And Fancy dancy. It shows on the floor here. We'll clean this up and we'll see if I need to actually replace any of this plywood, but it doesn't look too bad back here and around here, but where the old furnace was, there is a lot of rock, but pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't see this coming, but we're tearing this thing out. Pardon my French. All right, here she is, almost completely gutted uh, from where I want to get her to start to do the rebuild. Uh, this needs to get out, but it, it's not attached, so it's just sitting there. But we already know this. Uh, got all the foam and old wood rotted paneling out. So back here, I think where this little repair was, I'll probably put the outdoor shower box right there so we don't have to worry about that. And then since I'm getting rid of this black water tank, I won't need this exhaust valve for it. Um, although I might put a gray water tank in there, um, but I'll probably be getting a compost toilet so won't need it to be black and so won't need to vent it as much. It can just come up through the vents in the kitchen. But anyway, uh, there is a little bit of rot, well, a lot of rot right down here, and so I still have to do parts of the flooring, repairing that, and then there's a, this wood piece that goes up in here is probably rotten as well, so I still have to gut that part, and obviously gut the door because it's completely rotted, uh, but I'll probably put a on-demand water heater here and then use this vent pipe Obviously not the PVC, but the hole for the vent pipe for that. Uh, but 
we got all of the fiberglass exposed and all the foam pushed out of there. I'll have to figure out a way to get that anchored into the ceiling, you know, with uh, some sort of adhesive. I'll probably put a stringer up in there as well to close that gap a little bit. I mean, I will want it a little tighter up there so there's no sag here, but I don't think that it needs to go all the way there to be completely level here. So I'll put a little stringer in there and then get some adhesive and stick it to the ceiling there. And hopefully that'll tighten that up. And have to figure out how to seal around the wheel well where it meets the wall. It's kind of strange that it was just paneling all the way underneath there uh, to the floor level. So water from this road is just splashing up on that. We'll have to figure out how to replace that area of rotten flooring. And close that little opening up because I won't be using that water heater that was there. And got that all cleared out over here. And we'll figure out how to put a new piece of wood back in there and got the bunk area pretty much clear, cleared out just using my tools up or storage for tools up there right now and I thought there might have been a seam in here while why for the reason why some of this wood up here was kind of moist moist worst word ever uh, wet uh, but I think it was just condensation over the years just kind of hanging out there with nowhere to go but the, wa the wood doesn't seem rotten so once it dries up we'll, we'll be pretty good there and let's see so i have to replace a piece of wood here that came out when i was ripping down the ceiling and do the same thing on this side as i plan on doing on the opposite that i just showed you This side all cleared out today. Got the nasty old carpet out of the cabin area. The cab. This would be the cabin, but that's the cab. Um, yeah, a little bit of surface rust, but hey, this is a 1972 van chassis, so to be expected. I'll just do some vinegar treatment on that and then paint it over and put some sound deadening material down there and then. See if I can find a carpet kit uh, for the G-Series van. And don't know what kind of stereo system I'm gonna put in there. I mean, it, it's gonna be a touch screen, but I don't know if I'll do single DIN or figure out a way to put a double DIN in there. And so hopefully find some different seats, obviously. We talked about that. And got all this out. Only a little bit of rock here where the where the refrigerator was. So I'll try to fix that. I'm not too bad behind the, uh, the kitchen area here. Can't see it obviously, but anyway, I got the rest of the paneling out of there when I pulled the foam out. And definitely gonna leave this here. And just, again, fill the holes and paint it up. It look nice again. Took the door off the kit or kitchen, off the bathroom. Took the bathroom door off. We'll refinish that, and then once I finish this uh, fascia, I'll uh, put the door back in there. And we got all the cabinet doors and template pieces and whatnot. And that mirror is gonna be scrap, obviously. But yeah, there we go. She's a beauty.